Hello, my name is Ambrose. I'm at my grandparents' backyard and I found this lily moth. And I've done a movie of the caterpillars before, but not the actual moth. Well, and right now it's vibrating its wings. The wingspan is about 40 millimetres. And the lily moth is found in Southeast Asia, Australia and other parts of the world. The lily moth caterpillar it decimates and eats calivia until there's nothing left. And, and they usually eat in groups. When the moth lays eggs, it will lay them underneath the calivia and cover it in hairs to protect them from predators. Now they cocoon themselves underground. So they pupate under the ground. Their pupae is encapsulated in a hard honey brown casing. And three weeks later, the moths will come out of the ground and then they will fly off. This moth is so beautiful and you can see that there's its little tongue sticking out looking for nectar because it's probably hungry. Oh, gosh! No. Come here, come. There it is. On this one. There it is. As I was saying, this moth is pretty indeed. And also, a caterpillar is very beautiful. I think it might be a female because I'm not sure if this is in this type of moth, but in some moths, the male's antennae have furs on them. I'm not sure if that includes with this moth. Though. Oh! It flew away. Guys, I think I found some two things which are awesome. I have found a, a pupae and an actual caterpillar. Now the caterpillar is alive. The caterpillar is curled up because it's scared. But this caterpillar is not really a pupae like this. And that caterpillar is inside there but maybe it's a bit mothy looking and the caterpillar might get the six centimeters and then it will pupate like this so this caterpillar has a lot a big way to go before it can pupate and the caterpillar will squish itself in there so it will squash itself to, to this size so it can pupate now, if you do that to it, it will move around. And that shows that it's alive. Well, the caterpillar -y thing is still in it. And as you can see, it is wiggling around a bit. Okay. And I don't know what this is for, but it seems to have a little spiky, pointy thing at the end. This is a size comparison to the end of my finger. So, it's quite big, this is. Yeah, this is quite big. That's wiggling around. This is what it looks like when it's opened up. As you can see, it's all hollow. There's a giant hole, and that's where the moth would have came out of it. Oh, that was an accident. But as you can see, it is completely dry. I've been digging around the garden, and I found all these. And as they're all wriggling, it feels so good and weird. And this fat caterpillar is probably close to turning into one of these. I just put them all back. Better say goodbye, so thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe so you can join me on our next adventure.